Teleportation is the hypothetical transfer of matter or information from one point to another without traversing the physical space between them. It is a common subject in science fiction literature and movies, and it has long been a topic of speculation and debate among scientists. While there is no scientific evidence to suggest that teleportation is possible, there are a number of theoretical approaches to the problem. One approach is based on the concept of wormholes, which are hypothetical tunnels that connect two different points in space-time. Another approach involves using quantum entanglement, which is a phenomenon in which two particles are linked together in such a way that they share the same fate, even when they are separated by a large distance. Although there is no scientific consensus on whether or not teleportation is possible, it is a fascinating concept that has captured the imagination of people for centuries. If it were possible to teleport, it would revolutionize transportation, communication, and exploration. The world's most powerful quantum computer IBM has unveiled one of the most powerful quantum computers ever built, the Osprey, which boasts an impressive 433 qubits. This new machine headlines a raft of advances in the field of quantum computers that IBM has announced, as it prepares for a massive leap next year in its quest to build quantum computers that will solve problems previously impossible for even the most powerful supercomputers. Quantum computers harness the principles of quantum mechanics, the physics of the very small. In this realm, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a phenomenon known as superposition. This, along with other quantum quirks like entanglement, allows quantum computers to perform calculations that are impossible for classical computers. The Osprey is a major step forward in the development of quantum computers. It is more powerful and versatile than any previous quantum computer, and it will enable researchers to tackle problems that were previously out of reach. The Humane AI Pen is a wearable AI device that was launched in November 2023. It is designed to be a replacement for smartphones, allowing users to make calls, send texts, and look up information through voice controls. The device also has a laser display, turning your palm into a mini screen that can show the time, date, or what's nearby. The Humane AI Pen is a small, round device that attaches to the user's clothing with a magnet. It has a few buttons on the side for controlling the device, and a small speaker and microphone for making calls and taking voice commands. The device also has a laser projector that can project information onto the user's hand. The Humane AI Pen is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor and has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. It has a 1.5-inch OLED display and a 5-megapixel camera. The device also has a built-in battery that can last up to 12 hours on a single charge. European space and telecom companies have formed a coalition to build the new infrastructure for resilience, interconnectivity and security by satellite-satellite communication network, a constellation of broadband connectivity satellites. The consortium is led by Airbus Defense and Space, Thales Alenia Space, and Leonardo. It also includes other major players in the European space industry, such as SES, Utelsat, and Orange. The Infrastructure for Resilience, Interconnectivity and Security by Satellite Project is a 6 billion euro initiative to develop a secure, sovereign, and resilient satellite communication network for Europe. The network will provide high-speed broadband connectivity to European citizens and businesses, as well as to government and military users. The Infrastructure for Resilience, Interconnectivity and Security by Satellite Project is expected to be completed by 2027. It will provide a much-needed boost to the European space industry, and it will help to ensure that Europe has a leading role in the global satellite communications market.
Microsoft's futuristic project Silica stores data on glass plates for 10,000 years. 3,500 films, or 1.75 million songs, can be stored on a single, small glass disk. Microsoft is currently developing the data storage of the future. Much more durable and uncomplicated than any hard disk. Microsoft Research, the R&D arm of the Redmond software giant, is testing the storage of huge amounts of data on glass plates in a futuristic initiative dubbed Project Silica. If successful, it could be used to store information for thousands of years without degradation. The Microsoft researchers store the data in the glass using three-dimensional pixels called voxels. In contrast to classical storage methods such as magnetic spinning disks, the saucer-sized glass plates of Project Silica will store data for thousands of years and create sustainable storage for the world, as Microsoft describes it. A magnetic slime robot is a self-healing soft robot made up of polyvinyl alcohol, borax, and neodymium magnet particles. It was co-created by Professor Li Zhang of Chinese University of Hong Kong. It is a non-Newtonian fluid that behaves like a liquid or solid depending on force, having viscoelastic properties. The robot is developed by and could be deployed inside the human body to perform tasks such as retrieving objects out of it. Contrary to its name, it currently does not have a robot in it and is only controlled by magnets. It can reach speeds of 30 millimeters per second. It is believed that this kind of magnetic robot could extract unhealthy objects ingested by humans and possibly traverse out of the body with the ingested object with it, and scientists state that the slime is capable of transporting harmful things. The robot could be used to be deployed into the human body to retrieve objects that were possibly accidentally ingested. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, a leading transportation and technology licensing company focused on realizing the evolution of high-speed transportation, has unveiled details of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies Express Freight. Its new innovative freight transport capsule system, which is set to revolutionize shipping with its speed, efficiency, and sustainability. The system was designed in collaboration with Tangerine, an award-winning design consultancy which specializes in transportation design, delivering product innovation for clients around the world. In Hyperloop Transportation Technologies' Great Lakes Hyperloop Feasibility Study from 2020 conducted by the firm Transportation Economics Management, it was determined that an express freight option for Hyperloop would be cheaper than air and truck options while delivering goods faster and more sustainably. Hyperloop Express Freight is entering an industry expected to grow from $260 billion in 2020 to over $484 billion in 2030. Serverless computing is a cloud computing execution model in which the cloud provider dynamically manages the allocation and provisioning of computing resources. With serverless computing, developers can build applications and services without having to worry about provisioning, managing, or scaling servers. The cloud provider takes care of all of the underlying infrastructure and developers only pay for the resources that they use. Serverless computing is based on the idea of event-driven computing, which means that code is executed in response to events. For example, a serverless function might be triggered when a new file is uploaded to a cloud storage service. This means that serverless applications can be very efficient as they only use resources when they are needed. Serverless computing is a relatively new technology, but it has already gained traction in the industry. There are a number of cloud providers that offer serverless computing services, including Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. The world's first 5G standard low Earth orbit satellite, named Satellite Underscore Zero the Groundbreaker, was successfully launched by Spanish telecommunications company Satellite on April 15, 2023. 
This momentous achievement marks a significant step forward in the advancement of global connectivity, paving the way for seamless 5G coverage across the globe. Sat Elliot underscore zero, weighing approximately 22 pounds, was launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The satellite is expected to orbit the Earth at an altitude of approximately 550 miles, providing coverage to a wide range of regions, including remote and underserved areas. The Groundbreaker's primary mission is to bridge the digital divide by providing 5G connectivity to users worldwide, enabling them to access high-speed internet, video streaming, and other data-intensive applications. With its advanced capabilities, the satellite will support the growth of the Internet of Things connecting millions of devices and sensors across various industries. The XGO2 is a Raspberry Pi-based robotic dog with an arm that is designed to be both educational and fun. It is the world's first desktop-level robotic dog with an arm, and it is aimed at users of all ages and skill levels. The XGO2 is powered by a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 processor and has 15 degrees of freedom, allowing it to perform and interact like a real pet dog, as well as pinch and carry with its robotic arm. It is also equipped with an XGO adapter expansion board with GPIO interface and IIC interface to meet your more innovative applications. The XGO2 is designed to be easy to use and can be programmed using a variety of methods, including Blockly, Python, and ROS. It also comes with a built-in operating system and a user-friendly interface. The XGO2 is a versatile robot that can be used for a variety of purposes, including education, entertainment, and research. It is also a great way to learn about robotics and programming. Shape-shifting fiber can produce morphing fabrics. Researchers have developed a new type of fiber that can change its shape in response to temperature. This fiber, known as Fibrobo, could be used to create a new generation of morphing fabrics that can adapt to changes in the environment. Fibrobo is made from a liquid crystal elastomer which is a type of material that can change its shape when heated or cooled. The liquid crystal elastomer is embedded in a fiber made from a polymer, which gives the fiber its strength and flexibility. When Fibrobo is heated, the liquid crystal elastomer expands, causing the fiber to contract. When the fiber is cooled, the liquid crystal elastomer contracts, causing the fiber to expand. This means that Fibrobo fibers can be used to create fabrics that can change their shape in response to temperature. For example, a jacket made from Fibrobo could tighten around the wearer when they are cold or loosen around them when they are hot. This could help to regulate the wearer's body temperature and keep them comfortable. Living robots, also known as xenobots, are a new type of engineered organism that is made from living cells. They are designed to perform specific tasks, such as moving objects or delivering drugs. Xenobots are created by using a computer to design and simulate their shape and behavior, and then using a technique called evolutionary computing to select the best designs. Once a design is chosen, it is then assembled by hand from living cells. Xenobots are still in their early stages of development, but they have the potential to revolutionize a number of fields, including medicine, environmental cleanup, and manufacturing. For example, xenobots could be used to deliver drugs to specific cells in the body or to clean up pollution in the environment. They could also be used to build self-assembling structures or to create new types of artificial intelligence. Living robots are made from living cells, which means that they are biocompatible and will not reject by the body. This makes them ideal for use in medical applications. Fluid Reality has recently unveiled a lightweight haptic glove that is designed to provide users with a more immersive virtual reality experience. 
The glove is wireless and self-contained, meaning that it does not need to be tethered to a computer or other external device. It also features high-resolution haptic feedback that allows users to feel the texture and shape of virtual objects. The Fluid Reality Haptic Glove is powered by a Raspberry Pi and uses a proprietary electroosmotic pump technology to generate haptic feedback. The pumps are located on the fingertips of the glove and can be controlled independently, which allows for a wide range of haptic effects. The glove is still in its early stages of development, but Fluid Reality has plans to bring it to market in the near future. The company is currently working on improving the glove's battery life and making it more comfortable to wear. New X-ray Nano Satellite to Study Black Holes, Neutron Stars This satellite, dubbed NinjaSat X-ray, would spend two years in low Earth orbit studying bright X-ray sources in the Milky Way galaxy. A new nanosatellite dedicated to studying black holes and neutron stars from low Earth orbit is expected to launch this year. This satellite, dubbed NinjaSat X-ray, would spend two years in low Earth orbit studying bright X-ray sources in the Milky Way galaxy. The satellite results from a collaboration between Japan's Riken Research Institution, Mitsui Busan Aerospace, and mission integrator Kongsberg Nanoavionics. Nanoavionics recently delivered their multi-purpose nanosatellite bus, integrated with the Riken Research payloads. The Lithuania-based startup has also provided satellite testing services for this mission. As per the official release, the SpaceX Transporter 9 mission will launch the satellite this year. <laughs>